Primary storage is where data and instructions are stored during active use. This is what we commonly know as the computer's memory. All computers require memory to function. There are different types of memory we commonly see in computer systems, such as random access memory and read-only memory. These each have their own benefits and uses. Random access memory, commonly referred to as RAM, is the most common form of primary storage. While it has random in its name, it's not actually random. What we mean by random access is that you can access any area of memory by its address. All memory in RAM is stored in registers. A register is a location in RAM identified by an address allowing direct memory access to the data held there. RAM is read-write, meaning that not only can data be loaded from RAM, but this data can be changed. RAM memory is also volatile. This means that if you turn off the power on your computer without saving your work to your hard drive, you will lose it. The purpose of RAM is to speed up the operation of your computer. Without RAM, your CPU would have to fetch data from the hard disk drive, which would take a long time. This would seriously slow down the performance of your computer. RAM basically allows large chunks of data to be transferred from the slow hard disk drive into the faster main memory so it can be fetched quicker by the CPU for processing. Old computers had very small amounts of RAM memory, which could barely hold the operating system and any running programs. So operating system developers came up with virtual memory. The idea was that the minute any data loaded into RAM stopped being used, these contents were immediately swapped into a file on the hard drive called the page file. This means that the RAM was freed up for further use. This copying into a file would happen automatically and would be managed by the operating system. If this data was required again, the data would be loaded from this file back into RAM. Modern computers can now have 8, 12 or even 16 gigabytes of RAM. However, virtual memory is still being used as we are loading more and more complicated and sophisticated software onto computers. Although as the amount of RAM available increases, virtual memory is being used less. You can tell if your system is using virtual memory when you can hear your hard drive whirring away. This sound is called paging, as it means that your computer is reading and writing to the page file to try and free up resources. Read-only memory, commonly referred to as ROM, is an area of memory that contains instructions that can never be written over by the user. The ROM chip will be built into the motherboard. The ROM chip contains BIOS software that your computer requires to perform the startup process. This process is commonly known as booting. This booting process involves the BIOS starting up the monitor and keyboard and then locating the starting address of the operating system. Once this first address is loaded, the operating system can find the rest of itself by itself. The main things to understand about ROM memory are, it is non-volatile. By that we mean if you lose power, you do not lose your data. And it is read-only. This means that the data on the ROM chip always stays the same. So, RAM is main memory and stands for random access memory. It is not actually random. This just means that memory can be accessed using an address. You can read or write to RAM and it is volatile, which means data is lost with no power. Virtual memory is an area of the hard disk drive that is used when your RAM is full. This involves some unused data in RAM memory being swapped onto the hard drive. ROM memory is read-only memory. It stores the BIOS software that starts your computer's boot process. It cannot be written to and is non-volatile, so when there is no power, data is not lost. 